Hello and welcome again to Plastic Models by Regular Dude. Uh, this is going to be hopefully a quick video. Just mainly want to uh, talk a little bit about what's going on on my bench and offer up some heartfelt thanks to a couple of guys. So let's take a look. Okay, first up, um, I, as anybody knows that follows my channel, I finished up the Sherman Easy 8 last month, or earlier this month, whatever. I got it finished, posted up some stuff, and got a lot of helpful comments on it and so forth. And, and uh, one of my subscribers, and I also subscribe to his channel because he's got some good stuff on there. He's got a really cool project going on right now, as a matter of fact. But he commented that he noticed that there was something missing on my uh, my Sherman. And uh, it was one of those things that, you know, I just needed to get down to the craft store to get uh, what I needed for that. And I hadn't done it. And he saved me a trip. And he said, he commented, said, hey, I noticed you're missing something. Send me your address and I'll send you a little something. So what he did is he sent me these awesome tow cables. Now these are made out of uh, heavy thread. Now I, I used something similar to this, but it was much larger on my Tiger Tank, the 125th scale Tiger Tank. And um, obviously that thread was too big, but this, it's something like this. It's really smooth. It doesn't have any fraying to it. I, I'm not sure what kind of string this is, but it's really nice. And it gives a good scale representation of, uh, of tow cables. Um, so, I don't know. They're really nice. They're all looped up on the end, um, pre-looped. So, all I really would do is just I'll get some... Uh, Foil and create the band that goes around that holds that together and I'm going to do that and get this installed on that Sherman and that'll be one item that will kind of finish that off not only did he send me that one but he sent me another one he sent me two of them and they, they really look good and when they're painted and weathered they're going to be spot on um, also he sent some smaller string that looks like rope, even the color looks like hemp rope. Two little, one one's a little bit thicker than this one, so it's like two two different sizes, which will also kind of finish off the uh, the Sherman. Because right now on the back, um, I've got some stowage on the back, some uh, like rucksacks and some fuel cans. And I can use this to make it look like it's tied down like it should be. I was just kind of lazy and just kind of threw them on there. This will help me finish that off. Plus, there's enough here for doing other other projects, too. And uh, I've got one, one project in particular that's coming up that this will be really helpful with. So we got two sizes of that. And then he also sent me this awesome camo netting. I mean, I don't know what this is or where he got it, but it looks like the real deal. And it's a good scale size. And it's got that nice, you know, uneven weave. Um, you know, I've seen some camo nettings that, and that they're just, they look too perfect. And these, it's got like a nice uneven weave to it. So it looks like camo netting. And that will also come handy come in handy on a project and this person's name is Bob I hope I pronounce it right Honert it's A-H-N-E-R-T and he has a uh, YouTube channel that I'm going to post up um, if all goes well it should appear right about here but he's got a good channel. He's got a really cool project going on. I think, I'm pretty sure it's a, uh, it's a martyr, M-A-R-D-E-R, -E a German martyr that he's working on. And he's got some really good stuff. So if you're not already subscribed to his channel, 
uh, you should subscribe to it because he's got some really good stuff on there and obviously he is a really really great guy I mean just out of the blue he thought hey you could use some tow cables and some extra stuff so I'm gonna mail them to him so Bob thanks a bunch I really appreciate it awesome gesture and uh, I'm sure I'll be able to return the favor at some point so Bob honored subscribe to his channel if you haven't already good stuff um, next as many of you know if you've seen my previous videos I'm doing the uh, buddy build with Steve Mottram from England um, we're doing the uh, Panther the to me a new tool Panther house D and um, really great kit but he you know hit me up and wanted to do a buddy build and I was all for it so what does he do he sends a package as well and here's what he sent first he got us both a copy of the Osprey modeling modeling the Panther tank and I've been I've uh, got this just on Monday um, and today is Tuesday so I just got it yesterday and I've already read some of it and it's got some really good stuff talks a little bit about the individual vehicles and then it talks about stuff you need for um, building um, pretty much any kit but you know and then it talks about individual some of the procedures and ways of doing things, materials, very, very nice photos, nice color photos, really clear, um, talks about techniques on weathering, painting, you name it, and then it goes through a few different uh, projects. Um, gives you a skill level, tells you you know what he used exactly in the kit or in, in the in the build, which kit he used, what photo etch, except you know whatever he used, some of it's scratch build. And the way he explains it, it's you know makes a person think they can do some of these more advanced or seemingly advanced techniques so it's just it's a really good book and you know that's huge Steve didn't have to do that but he did and that's really awesome so we got that then he also sent a metal barrel set as well now the the kit barrel is not bad you know it's a slide mold uh, barrel and, and the seam lines are very, very faint, but, you know, it's still a plastic barrel and you can't even shake a stick to a metal barrel. This thing is really, really nice. I mean, it's even got rifling. You know, this isn't news to some people, but to some it might be. It's got rifling in the end of the barrel. Awesome, amazing stuff. And then it's got the parts for the muzzle brake. <clears throat> brass, made out of brass barrels, aluminum. Parts of brass, a little bit of photo etch for some of the parts. It just looks really, really good. <clears throat> so I can't wait to get that installed. I just need to get a drill bit to uh, bore out the mantlet just a little bit. Um, I mean, just ever so slightly, but I want to use a drill bit so it comes out nice and uh, concentric. So it's dead center. Uh, and I measure it with my. Uh, my micrometer and it's uh, seven millimeters so I just need to get a seven millimeter bid then I can bore that out and get that thing installed and it's gonna look sharp and something else he tossed in that he didn't tell me he was gonna send was this to me a Zimmerit coating applicator set um, it's it's like a photo edge type thing but the material is a lot thicker and it's not as pliable as brass so, so it'll stay um, it'll you know, keep its shape, it'll stay flat, it won't bend like brass will. And it's got 0.7 and 0.5 are the sizes. And 
you know, different widths, like a little narrow applicator here, a little bit wider there, and then still wider there. So it'll really make it easy, and you know, in there, and it'll make it really easy to apply Zimmerit. And since I plan on doing some more um, Panther tanks and other German vehicles that had Zimmerit, this this really come in handy. So and, and again, this is just something he just tossed in because he felt like it. So, Steve, thanks a bunch. I don't know how, I don't know. Just like he was saying on one of his videos the other day, there's just some pretty, pretty awesome people in the, uh, in the modeling world. Generous. I mean, other people have done the same thing on some of the channels I watch, so it's just, you know, it's a great bunch of people. So, Bob and Steve, thanks a lot for these, these awesome items. And, you know, not only are they useful, but it's really great that just there's, you know, people in the world like this. So, the risk of sounding a little mushy and weird. Thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate it, Bob and Steve. And I will also post uh, Steve's, um, a link to Steve's channel, hopefully right here. And, uh, you know, you guys can check out their channels. Good stuff. So, that's that. So... As far as my buddy build goes with Steve, he has moved along, and if you're keeping up with him, he's got most of the kit assembled. Uh, he might have all of it assembled, except I haven't seen the tracks yet, and he's also uh, got it painted, primed and painted, so he just smoked me. I should have kept going, because I stalled out so he could catch up, because he was you know, having to work quite a bit, and I had moved forward pretty fast. Well, I should have kept going, because he's passed me up. I've got the majority of the assembly done. Um, upper and lower hull is complete with the exception of the wheels, which I always save for last so I can um, do my weathering underneath here without the wheels being in the way. Um, So I have that to do. The hull, as you can see here, there's some gaps, but that is because I have not cemented the hull top onto the bottom yet. It's just snapped into place using, to me, a really groovy method for doing that these days. Like slides in the front and then snaps in the back. Um, I haven't attached the, uh, the jack. I saved that for last as well because I paint that separately as well as all the tools and spare tracks. I mean, this is this is the stuff that'll get the camouflage coating. And then the um, tools, extra tracks, all that will be glued on afterwards. And then the weathering, uh, then the weathering can happen. Um, one of the, I ordered the uh, grill set for this kit and it's really nice it's I don't know if it's made out of nickel or or what but it's not brass like you know most photo etches but they fit right on there perfectly because it is made specifically for this kit and maybe some of the other to me a Panthers I don't know but it fit really well it's really nice um, they look really good I remember back in the old days we had to use a screen of some type and just kind of make a framework and you know, it ended up looking kind of out of scale, but it was still cool because, you know, that's all we had. Um, so that is done. Um, on the... Uh, on the travel lock for the barrel, I drilled out and slotted the one side where the chain would flip over and attach to hold it in place. Just kind of a little detail thing I wanted to do. Um, not much else as far as not just straight out of the box. I did bore out the exhaust tips a little bit more so the exhaust so the the exhaust itself would look a little thinner and more into you know more to scale. Um, I mean, the, the way it comes on the kit, you know, out of the box, it looks fine, but I just wanted to make it a little bit thinner. 
Uh, so that's pretty much it for the hull. So it's ready to paint, or ready to prime, then paint, and then camouflage. Then I can glue the remainder of the uh, parts on and get the uh, get the weathering started. Um, then on the turret, I got this all put together and it fits together really well. Now one thing that I will note is right here where the front of the turret attaches to the main body of the turret. There was a seam right here where there shouldn't be. This is like a, a solid piece that interlocks with the front. So in order to make that look a little better, the backside edge right here of the um, the front plate where it glues on, I, I beveled that just a little bit so it's not wasn't such a sharp line, so it would kind of match more of a you know a round more rounded edge on the front. And then I used just a little bit of uh, Tamiya filler and filled this seam line right here. This side I didn't have to because it fit really flush, so I cemented it well enough that all I had to do was just scrape it a little bit with a knife and rough it up so it looks like this is one continual piece not glued onto there. Um, there was, a, you know, and it's weird because most of the ejector pin marks on Tamiya kits these days are in uh, inconspicuous places like on the insides where you wouldn't see it. Uh, but there was an ejector pin mark on the front side of this mounting plate for the uh, these dischargers here. So I just used a little bit of filler and filled that as well. Um, I don't have the mantlet on yet because like I said, I need to, to bore the hole out a little bit more. So that is that. Now, the only other thing I need to glue to the turret, and let me see if I can find it here, is the um, cupola. And I haven't glued that on yet because this comes in two halves. So when I glue when I submitted them together, there was a seam line that lined up with the bottom of the vision port here. So I just filled that in with some Tamiya. I've had to do it twice because it kind of sunk into that, that groove. So all I need to do now is just uh, sand that off and that way it'll be nice and smooth all the way around and it'll look like it's you know one piece instead of two pieces cemented together. And then I can cement the, uh, the top part on and the hatch. Put that on the uh, tank or on the turret and that will be done. So that's basically it. That's where I am. Once I get that sanded and installed on the turret, then I can start with the uh, with painting. I can start with painting, priming, and then painting, and then do the camouflage, and I can move right along. So that is what I have done so far on the Panther buddy build with Steve Mottram. So Steve, I got a little bit of catching up to do with you there amigo and I will do that within the next few days. So I will have to get my wheels and uh, make some masks for the, for the wheels and get those painted up as well. And I'll be moving right along. So that's basically it. So today's video, in summary, a great big thanks to Bob Onert or Anert, which I already pronounce it. Sorry, Bob, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm horrible. But it's a big thanks for for uh, to Bob from South Carolina for the awesome tow cables, uh, the string that I can use for ropes, and that camouflage netting. Thanks a lot. As soon as I get that put on the Sherman, I will be posting some, uh, I'll post that in one of my updates along with some other stuff. So Bob, thanks again. I really appreciate it. Great guy. Steve, 
thanks to you as well for the awesome book, the metal barrel, and the Tamiya Zimmerit applicators. I still just kind of flabbergasted and just really, really stoked that there's, you know, awesome people in the world. And it's not because they're sending something to me. Took it upon themselves to do something nice for someone else. And I really appreciate it. I mean, they watch my videos, they comment on them, and I appreciate it. So, you know, whatever, enough of that. So, again, thanks, Bob. Thanks, Steve. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate it. Steve, we're moving along. So, uh, that's it for now on this one. As soon as I get some paint down and I start working on the tracks, I'll, uh, I'll post up another update. So, that's it for now. Thanks again for watching another edition of Plastic Models by a Regular Dude, and I'll see all of y'all later.